Hi everyone, uh, this is Andorf and today I'd like to show you um, how to have your camera set up for a first person controller uh, in a way that your hands will not clip with a wall and you will still get shadows on your hands when you go in a dark area such as this one. So let's get started. Uh, the camera setup is pretty simple. Okay. Um, you can see it here on the left hand side. Uh, I've got my FPS controller. This is just my general controller. Uh, so this is, you know, the, the character controller with all scripts attached to deal with inventory, movement and shooting. But you don't care about that. What we care about is the child, which is a main camera. So the main camera is, uh, first of all, I added the, ma the main camera as a child of my FPS controller so that uh, when I rotate left and right, I'm rotating the FPS controller uh, and the camera rotates with it. But when I rotate up and down, my camera, I, I'm doing that only with my camera so that my FPS controller is not rotating up and down because it wouldn't make any sense. It, it would mean that I would have my feet in the air if, you know, if I was looking down or looking up, which that's not what I want, you know. So looking left and right, that's moving the FPS controller left and, left and right and automatically moves the main camera left and right. But moving up and down, I only move the main camera up and down and my, my character controller doesn't get affected. Now, the main camera uh, is set to skybox, so where there is nothing to render, it will render the standard skybox, and the culling mask is set to everything, so I'm rendering every single thing, okay, everything I'm rendering here, uh, that you see in the scene, um, the wall, the, everything, the hands, everything I'm rendering. Uh, and this is fine, because if this was the only setup that I had, the moment I went inside the wall, maybe I can show that to you if I disable this camera. Let's see. Yep. So if, if I only had what I showed you, so one camera, this is the clipping that I would, I would get. I would still get shadows, but I would get loads of clipping. And this is not what you want, is it? This is really not what you want. Um, so how do we solve this? Well, we add another child of the main camera. Uh, with another camera component. So I have a, my main camera, which has a camera component and my hands root, which has a camera component. Now, in this case, you want to set the clear flags to depth only. Why is this? Because you don't want anything to get rendered by this camera. This You will only use this second camera to render the hands and the gun on top of everything else, basically. Um, my culling mask is set to hands. Why is that so? Well, because basically uh, my gun and my hands are on the hands layer. So every single mesh of my gun and hands is on the hands layer. So I'm telling my camera, please only render everything that is on the hands layer. And something else which is very important is I set the depth to one. So in my main camera, I had the depth set to zero. And in my child camera, I have the depth set to one. And the reason why I do that is, uh, why I do that is because um, a higher number here means that the mesh is drawn later is drawn on top okay so uh, my main camera my main camera is drawing everything but my secondary camera is drawing everything on top of my main camera so you can see it very clearly here in the camera preview my main camera is drawing everything and my hands root is redrawing the hands plus the gun if you can see it i'm not sure you can see it but you should be able to also see it here um, is redrawing the hands plus the gun on top of everything. So, yes, we do get clipping, but then we redraw the gun. So we don't get it anymore because we redraw the gun on top of the wall, basically. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, really. Um, now, with this setup, you will not get the shadow, okay? Why do I get the shadow? And you might not be able to get the shadow. Because you need a bit of tweaking to your environment, okay? So let me show you why. So the solution that you can 
use for, for this kind of issue is the following one, basically. Uh, on your initial wall, so on your original wall, you can set cast shadows to off. You don't need your, your original wall to cast shadows because you're already going to cast them with your duplicate wall. So what you're going to do is you're going to set cast shadows to off, and then you're going to duplicate your wall, basically. The second wall doesn't need a box collider, so you can remove it. Uh, but it does need the same mesh filter and mesh render, and it needs to be in the exact same location as the previous wall. The only thing that you will have on this wall, however, uh, is the cast shadow setting set to shadows only, okay? Because you only want this to cast shadows, basically, this game object to cast shadows. And you want this to happen on the same layer, the same layer as your hands, okay? Now, why do we want this? The simple reason why we want this is because the camera, what the camera will do, the second camera, so the, the camera that is a child of the main camera, it will redraw both the hands and the, the, ca the, the, the shadows which are being cast on the hands, basically. So it will redraw them uh, together, basically. So after the whole environment, uh, therefore, you will get basically the effect of the shadows on the hands. In the previous case, what, you, what we were doing, if we were casting shadows uh, with our original wall on the default layer, we were not basically, uh, we, we were drawing the shadows and, and rendering the wall before the hands. So we would not, we, we were not seeing any shadows cast on our uh, gun, you know? Of course, what you could say is, well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have one single wall, and this single wall is going to be uh, on the hands layer, and its shadows is going to be set to on. Now, this will also work. This will also work because, yeah, you can see. You can see that this will also work. But we do get clipping again in this case because the wall is also getting redrawn. You see? So this is why that solution is really kind of the, the, the optimal one. Uh, yeah. First the wall being drawn initially. Then its shadow being drawn together with the hands. So we don't get the clipping issue, but we do get the shadow effect. Oh, why do we get the clipping issue now? What is happening? Just a second. Uh, this set two hands, shadows only. Off. Oh, yeah, that's why. Because I left the original wall on the hands layer. It has to be on the default layer. It has to be drawn before the hands. That's why. Shadow effect. And we don't get any clipping. Okay, guys. Well, this is all. Thanks for watching. And... I'll see you in the next video.